Welcome to the Exotic Fishing Thailand Beat the Old Guys Challenge. We're the old guys. John, he's the eldest. He's uh, somewhere in his 60s. <laughs> Neil is uh, 51, 51, and I'm a... Uh, so, yeah, um, and the, the fish scale team, we have Crit, Captain, and John Harvey. Okay, this is our scoreboard over here. Uh, at the end of the day, we'll try to update it throughout the day, but at the end of the day, it'll all be updated and then we'll uh, update it again tomorrow. We've already chosen the fishing swims, and that was quite interesting. Uh, we can zoom in on this. Crit has chosen number nine, which is one of John's favorites. I chose net, uh, sorry, I chose first, I chose number 12, which is an old favorite of mine. I had, a, I had some Wallagoo Leary out of there before, years ago, but who knows. Uh, Crit took number nine, so we took John's second favorite, number two. Then uh, they took the 15, which they fished that area yesterday. This is corners full of red tails, and it's a good swim for carp as well. We chose 13, one of Neil's favorites, and they've taken five, which is a very good swim for carp. And so it's going to be interesting today to see what happens. All the Arapama are probably going to be out in the middle. We haven't had uh, we haven't had six people fishing here in a while, so let's see how the lake reacts to that. It's going to be quite interesting. So we're just going to go through the rules of the of the event with everybody. Um, the event takes place today. It's from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Uh, though we can pre-bait starting at 8. So 8 o'clock, we're all going to be out there throwing bait in the lake. If they want to fish for fun, because they're here on holiday anyways, from 8 to 11, they're going to do that. But um, the actual event starts at 11 o'clock. We're going to try to um, live stream everything the best we can through Crit's uh, uh, internet connection and he's in a good uh, swim for internet connection so that's good um, and we'll try to do it through our channel as well our uh, Facebook page the event is LOM only so we're only allowed to use LOM either on the bottom or on the float um, so that's you can use a combination of LOM with a wafter or a pop-up or poly balls whatever on the bottom and then uh, use it on the float some rules about the anglers can use their own fishing reels if they want. Everybody's using the Exotic Fish Young Thailand Mekong Tamer rods. Uh, we've already chosen the swims. So first individual prize is two EFT Mekong Tamer fishing rods, one night's accommodation, and one day's fishing on a future trip. So that's valued probably around 15,000 baht. First team prize is also three EFT fishing shirts. Both prizes include priceless bragging rights, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Windows will be announced on all our social media at the end of the day tomorrow, so that's Friday, Thai time, at around 7.30 or 8 o'clock. Uh, the winning angler and team will be determined by the total length of the fish, so the fish are going to be measured from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail, and minimum fish length is 30 centimeters, so we don't include all the java barbs and it doesn't become a java barb fest. Um, there's a bonus in centimeters for certain species. So if somebody catches a Mekong catfish, they get another two meters of length, 200 centimeters. Siamese carp, 100 centimeters. And then Wallagoo Leary, Salween Reeds, a catfish, Giant Stingray, Julian's carp, and Jow catfish all get a 50 centimeter bonus. Uh, we have five fishing guides available. Uh, so one team is going to get two guides one day and three guides the next day. That's how that'll work. The guides are responsible to measure all the fish and we're going to take a picture of each fish uh, as it's being measured so we have photo backup for the length of the fish so it's going to be a fun day uh, everybody's going to have fun and it's going to be really hot and i'm sure my chiropractor is going to be happy after two days of fishing that's for sure exotic fishing thailand beat the old guys challenge so team creek fish scale that's their secret weapon the old guys, we do have a secret weapon. It's called experience. <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun day. Uh, I'm going to be fishing near the swim I was fishing yesterday, so I know it a little bit. Um, and everybody's spread around us, uh, around the lake. Crit's in a swim where the wind's off his back, so he'll be able to fish the float quite comfortably. Um, if the wind's in the same direction <laughs> today. Uh, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Beautiful morning. Look at that. Look at that pan around there. Awesome. Well, we're about uh, an hour and a quarter from the start of the match. And ready for action, really. Um, uh, later on, when the wind cools down, or slows down, I should say, not cools down, um, we'll probably go two floats up in the water. I think Arapama's going to win this because it's on length. 
an air and palm I do have it here um, I basically got one mix here of lum with a bit of super fish scale in there that makes quite dry for the bottom feeders um, I've got my bucket here with my flavours in that wash my hands and that also keeps me spawn wet which stops the uh, the mix sticking to it this is my spawn mix basically liquid lum as wet as you can get it really uh, the spawn seals nice and tight so it doesn't fall out when you're casting and in here is a bit of an experiment um, it's basically uh, fish scale and lum paste yesterday when I was fishing up in the water for the arapama I had fish there all day and I couldn't catch them towards the end I, I went to a softer mix which when it hit the water exploded more I had a little wallagoo and an arapama and I noticed that exploding on impact and fishing quite shallow um, you managed, I managed to get more bites there's the rig, very simple uh, 15 mil wafter, short hook length, comes up to a weightless feeder, a couple of wee bass stoppers, and then the float set quite shallow, somewhere between uh, half a meter to a meter and a quarter probably. And that will be, I'll be spawning out two spawns, bosh, bosh, two spawns, form a cloud, put the spawn rod down, have the uh, ground bait on the feeder already, cast into the uh, into the cloud. And over on this side, I'm going to be feeding that paste. It's uh, not very far out. Let's uh, just grab it. So I'm going to be feeding the paste just, just here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but as it hits the water, it's absolutely alive with baby Java Barb. I think the, all the fish are attracted to, to where the bait fish are coming. On these rigs, I've got quite a big boily and a pop-up which demonstrates quite nicely here so it's it's wafting around lovely step here on clear water so you can actually see it acting this will give you an idea of how many how many java barber in here I don't know if you can see them pick them up on the camera but it's absolutely alive with them so they get attracted to the feed and then you catch the predators basically on carp baits which are sucking in a whole lot incredible amount of feed in here, amount of food in here which is why there are so many predators growing so big awesome exotic fish in Thailand, what a beautiful setting uh, we're down here for a bit of a bit of a friendly match. The, the old boys versus the fish scale boys. They got a lot of experience with fishing against some lads that know the water very well. I'm fishing peg 14 today, next door to where I was yesterday. I had a cracking day, 13 fish, a couple of arapama, lots of red tails, my first ever Wallagoo Leary, and uh, a nice Paku, and a lassoed alligator, which was very strange. But it'll count today, because the uh, Falcons are all right, but I'm not trying to. Um, but we got uh, basically two, two uh, teams of three men in uh, swims dotted around the lake. It's done on length, so each fish will be measured. Uh, Arapama will count as standard, and then other fish like a Mekong, you get bonus lengths. Siamese carp and some of the other species you get bonus. So they're rewarded for, for different species, effectively. So we're gonna have a, a, a really good go. We're fishing 11 o'clock in the morning to, I think it's seven o'clock tonight, so a good long session. Wind's blowing now, so I'm going to probably go two on the bottom, see if I can get some red tails early on, and then one on the float, spawning out a liquid lung mix, and, and then later on maybe go to two floats if, uh, if I think that's the case. But we're going to have a great day, and uh, see you later on. Okay, well right next to the end of the lake, the sort of lower end of the valley, Mike's got a, an area here which is um, fantastic for people that uh, are interested in fish and for kids and people that just want to have a wander around have a little look we've got some amazonian species here some two peacock bass in the tank here very aggressive lovely spot on the on the tail there which uh, gives them their name cracking fish marble catfish here um this one i think is brazilian yeah uh, little chap actually that's a uh, that's, that's not a marble catfish, that is actually a, um, a, a, a tiger shovel nose, I think. Or a, a, some sort of sore boom. Got three of them in there, one hiding in the middle of the tube there. He's a bit shy. 
Yeah, lovely fish. Oh, look at these. Look at this. I've never seen one of these. This is a this is the vampire fish. This one's got huge teeth that go set into the top of its head. The the uh, payara. And uh, amazing fish. These are in very fast flowing waters in in uh, running water in in in, uh, in yeah. South America. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. I've only, only ever seen them on uh, on fishing programs. Fantastic looking fish. Come away from the tanks. There's a little pool here with some arapama down here in lovely clear water. Look at that, look at the speed. How fast he takes that, that bait. Gotta to, got to come up and take that one. Right? You wouldn't want to be on the end of that sucker. There's one over there, give one to him. Amazing, awesome. What a creature. A little red tail. Look, cheeky little red tail. There he is. This is give him one. Yeah. He loves it. Anyway, we're on the fishes of Thailand now. And this is, look at that. It's a big fire eel. Lovely looking fish. Amazing. I caught a couple of very small ones out of JM. Didn't realize when I was holding them that they're slime and uh, they've got little tiny spurs on them. And they scratch the skin with their spurs. And then the slime has got toxins in it and it gets very itchy. I found that to my cost. Over here we got the uh, clown featherback, beautiful fish, knife fish family, and very unusual, very narrow. I know that uh, the locals love to smash them up and put them in a lab, lab back high. But these these boys hopefully won't have that fate. Thank you, the Julians, but at the moment. The Julian's not in there. Couple of little red tails there. Look at them. Sat there, chilling out. Relaxing. Down there. Oh, hello. Fish I've never seen in the flesh. A gonch. This one is native to Thailand. Ah, this one is actually a baby ripsaw here. A little baby ripsaw catfish. There's another one at the back, which could be the gonch, but I don't think it is. Another ripsaw, little baby ripsaws. Look at them. They are the Niger catfish from Africa. And uh, spines run all along the, the lateral line. He's chilled out, isn't he? Lovely black shark minnow here. Beautiful fish to catch in Thailand. They're just an awesome looking fish. They fight really hard, dive for the, the margins. And uh, just a beautiful looking fish. In the last tank, got some little, little um, possibly leopard catfish, not sure. They haven't got much red to their fins, maybe they don't when they're young. Uh, tiger red tail cross, possibly. They might be a different species that I don't know about. That's my guess. And uh, that's, that's uh, something, another feature of, of coming to EFT. As Lots to see and do. Lovely swimming pool out the back. We might go and have a look at that one tomorrow morning before we start the match. We've got about half an hour before the match now, so I better get back to it. Chuck these to the Arapama and uh, have a crack, see if I can catch one myself. Got them lined up here now. Look at this. Look at this. Got about eight or ten Arapama here all around. 50 to 80, 90 pounds. Absolutely amazing. What a creature. They're a fish you've got to be very careful with. They're very delicate. You wouldn't imagine it really looking at them, but they are a very delicate fish. A lot of anglers who fish Thailand catch one or two and then generally they've had enough and we get onto the species that are more interesting to catch, like the, the carp species. And uh, fish less likely to, to have problems after capture. Awesome. Here we go, first cast, we're in. The whistle's just gone. Just dropped my uh, just dropped my bait in close in here and uh, already got fish. Been spawning some lum over it, something's happening already. So I might drop this one.
going ready, isn't it? Fish on. Got a good red tail. Some stick. Don't want him to get to the air right. We've turned him. He's got a fish already over there. Looks like. It's all happening. What a start. Second cast, another red tail. I think Mike's into an arrow palmer by the looks of things. It's all happening. It's going to be a well contested match, this. It's going to be hard work. We're going to sleep well at the end of it. go. Been a while, I've had a bite for a while. Spawning out the lum. Chucked a couple of rods down to the right hand side. Went a bit smaller on the hook, went down to a size 13. I was on some quite heavy gear for for the uh, to stop the red tails. Give me a chance at the red tails in the Arapama, but I went down a bit smaller. See if it made a difference. Got a fish. Feels like a feels like a paco or a tambaki the way it's nodding. They got teeth. Which is worrying. Oh. Sucked it back a bit too far. Bit me off. That's the danger with the Paco and the Tambaki. Shark teeth. Wait a long time for that bite. That hurts a bit. Whew, try again. Oh, the rod in the corner's going again, just got bit off by a tambaki. Smallest hook, the size 13, so I'm, I think he's now a farmer, I'm pretty sure it is. Took the bait on the bottom. They have their little spells where they rest and then they kick and go. And this going this time. She's going out into the middle of the lake and not towards an aerator, which is nice. <clears throat> See what happens. Back in five. Came off. The bastard came off. Just got bit off by a tambaki. Felt a bit strange. Maybe it was foul looked. It's in the corner. Even the guys weren't sure what it was. It felt like an arapama, but it never came up for breath, so maybe it was something foul looked. And uh, confidence levels. At an all time low, just lost two fish. Didn't lose any yesterday when there's no match. Solves law, isn't it? But uh, we gotta keep going and start feeding now. The sun's gone behind the mountain. We've got some shadow on the inside. Gonna start feeding for the red tails. We can catch four or five red tails this evening. We might be in with a chance. John over here is catching well. Valerie just had a uh, chow prior. But I feel I'm, I'm in with a shout with. Uh, Six red tails equal in about five and a half meters in length. Gotta keep going, let's keep feeding. Well, after the Lord Mayor's show a little bit, we've got a, another ripper in the corner, and this time we're a red tail. We had to give him some stick, try and stop him getting under the, uh, the oxygen machine, the aerator. That's a nice fish. Oh, 
Still got a bit left. Big hook on this one. Big size 17, so a bit more confidence. You can give it some stick. Nearly there. There he comes. So it goes about 90 centimetres. Woo! At least we've got a fish on the bank. We stored some confidence. I'm doing something a bit unusual here. I put the uh, the lum ball on with a uh, super fish scale and then just come down here, Jimmy. I've made like a, almost like a paste, like a very soft dough. And I'm smearing that around the outside of the ball. It's quite tacky. Might have a disaster and have it fly off. Theory is, it's quick breakdown. So when it gets to the bottom, all the little Java barb that are in here, get attracted to it. God, I thought it was an alarm. <laughs> um, get attracted to it. And, uh, Hopefully speeds up the the uh, the time of when you get a bite. Let's go again. Well, the rod set a little bit further out. We've got all three rods working together quite close in, and now I think we've hooked an arrow farm. going towards the corner where the aerator is. On the bottom this one. Got a small hook again this one. And steer her away, it'd be nice. to put a lot of pressure on it with a small hook and there's an aerator over there. something. Legs are going, knees are shaking, bottom shaking. Get a bit more angle. Put a curt angle on it. Got it in open water now. Will she stay on? That's the question. She's gonna come up and take a breath here in a sec. Rising, 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 and here she is. See, yep, there she blows. Oh, big fish, big fish. Good fish. Yes. I think it was the one that rose. We'll cut it there, and uh, Jenny will return in a second. Back after the break. tape on it first just in case it jumps out oh here we go our palm of 2.08 meters fish of over 100 kilo as i said just guessing what a belter 
Mm. Lovely. Okay, welcome to Exotic Fishing Thailand. Uh, day one is over. A lot of people have got sore backs. Some of them just from fishing hard and uh, some of them from catching a lot of fish. Uh, just go over the, the scoreboard. Uh, fish, team fish scale caught 14 fish all together. Two hour palma. Um, and a total weight, uh, total length, sorry, of 70, uh, 1722 centimeters for 15 fish. Uh, the old guys, uh, well, we won't talk about me, the captain. I only caught one fish, first cast of the day, and lost one on the last cast of the day. So I'm off to the chiropractor. Uh, John Pierce was fighting the wind, and he got uh, 10 fish, 5 red tails, 5 paku. And Neil Robinson uh, kind of saved the day for us with a Mekong 20 minutes from the end. He got a 200 point bonus for the Mekong. So that gave us a total of 1806. So there were only one red sail apart, if you look at it that way. So uh, we're all going to go at it again tomorrow, right guys? Yeah, okay, we'll all work hard tomorrow. And uh, we'll try to keep everybody up to date. Exotic Fishing Thailand beat the old guys. Fish Gale is doing very well. It's going to be fun. Thank you.